Hello, week 12, problem one. While using a Nicholson, Nicholson? Infer interferometer, you see a dark circle at the center of the interference pattern, okay? And it kind of goes to describe it. So you basically have a light wave. Where does the light wave even come from? Oh, from over, hmm. Hmm. Ah, light source, that's probably where it comes from. All right, so light goes through here comes through here. So part of the light goes to this mirror, part of the light goes to this mirror. Single light ray of light is split into two rays. Check. And then there's a path difference between the two. And you can move M1 backwards and forwards. And okay, got it. So you see a dark circle at the center of the interference pattern. So this guy right here, right here. Nope, right there. That guy is key. So I'm gonna draw my little light wave look like this. Nope. This is going to be the x-axis and it's going to look like a sine curve. Hmm. That is surprisingly competent. Alright. And then copy paste. We're going to have the other one. So we split the beams so we have two of them, right? So what happens is we then have two beams and they're like this. Where this is, I don't know, I'm going to say this is you know, some axis here, this continues on. And I'm going to call this time. So as time goes on, you have two waves and they're going to interfere like this. So you're going to have the maximum here, minimum here. Maximum here, minimum here. The idea is when they come together, they interfere. Cancel each other out. That's destructive interference. Alright, so then you say, as you gradually move the light source toward the central mirror, all right, so we got this guy right here, the light source right here, moving it towards the mirror through a distance lambda over two, wavelength over two. What do you see? All right, so this is bef one way to think of it is you have two waves here already, actually have probably billions of waves, actually probably far, far more. Now important, you have a lot of waves here, and before it splits it off into two groups, they're all together. So when you're moving them together, you're not gonna get any difference between the two. So it doesn't matter if you move the light source. The light source doesn't matter. Everything is going to stay the same. So there will be no change. Hmm, didn't mean to have that spot. There will be no change in the pattern. All right. As you gradually move the moving mirror toward the central mirror through a distance uh, wavelength of two, what do you see? All right. So so when you're moving, so when you're moving the moving mirror, what you're in, doing and you're shortening the distance it has to travel so you're shortening the distance the wave travels so it doesn't really matter um, how many wavelengths go through so so what's going to happen is this this wave is going to travel like this it's going to get here and it's going to travel like this going back same thing with this guy it's going to travel this way and it's going to travel back and this is going to have i'm going to say m lambda wavelengths and this guy, since we know it's a dark spot, I'm going to say it has n lambda plus lambda over 2. By lambda, I mean wavelength. So n is just an integer, m is just an integer. doesn't matter how many integers, they're just some sort of integer. And the idea is that when they come back together, you subtract you know, one from each other, and all you look looking for is the remainder portion. What you're going to find is this wavelength over 2. So that wavelength over 2, that's what gives you the destructive interference. All right, so when they say they move the movable mirror um, by one half wavelength this direction, what you're actually going to do is you're going to move the entire wavelength. I'm going to call this guy M1, this guy M2. What you're doing is you're moving this wavelength right here. Hmm, did I get him? Yeah. So you're going to move it one half wave length there it's one half because you're moving the mirror one half wavelength so it's going to the tra the total travel of the wave is going to be one full wavelength less so here you have a dark spot because they're interfering you're going to move to here to have a light spot where they both constructively interfere i guess back to the original wave before they split off then you're going to continue moving it there and you're then going to get another dark spot so it's going to go from dark to light to dark again.
And that's because you're mo you're going to the total distance traveled by this wave is going to in fact be uh, one full wavelength. And you can see that because you have one arrow pointing this way and one arrow pointing that way, saying that it's a double path. So as you gradually move the mirror, moving mirror toward the central mirror, through a distance of wavelength over two, what do you see? The dark circle changes into a bright circle and then back to a dark, dark circle. Bam, right here. That's the answer. All right, sound good? Okay, well, on to problem number two.